How to make white corn stuffed acorn squash. The ingredients are minimal. You will need white corn, acorn squash, salt, pepper, maple syrup, and butter or coconut oil. For this recipe we used hulled white corn. This type of corn has always been a fundamental food source for the Haudenosaunee people. Nutritionally, white corn is gluten-free, low in sugar, high in fiber, protein, and slow-releasing carbohydrates. It's also packed with amino acids that help to build healthy cells. It comes dried and the kernels are very hard. The first step in preparing the corn is to rehydrate it. Soak one cup of white corn in water overnight. One cup of dried corn makes two to three cups of rehydrated corn. Drain and rinse the soaked corn when you're ready to start cooking it. Put the corn in a stock pot and add water to cover corn by three inches. Bring the water to a boil. Reduce heat to low and cook for three hours. Cook longer if you prefer the texture tender or softer. Be careful you don't burn the corn on the bottom by keeping an eye to make sure you always have enough water to cover it. The next main ingredient for this recipe is acorn squash. This type of squash is also an important staple in the traditional Haudenosaunee diet. It is available in most grocery stores and is easy to grow in your home garden. Acorn squash is rich in vitamins A and C. The first step in cooking the squash is to wash it well. Then set the squash on a cutting board and slice it end to end. Scoop the seeds out, but don't throw them away. They can be roasted for later. Place the squash with the face side up on a cookie sheet. Season with salt, pepper, and maple syrup to taste. Maple syrup is also a traditional food. In the spring, the sap is collected from the maple trees. The sap is also called maple water and can be used as a medicine with antioxidant properties that can aid in digestion and hydration. Maple water is boiled down to create maple syrup. Maple water and maple syrup help to replenish us with vital nutrients after the winter. It is also a delicious natural sweetener. Next, bake the squash in an oven preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes until tender. While the squash is cooking, saute the white corn with butter or coconut oil and season with salt and pepper. When the squash and the corn are both cooked, fill the squash cavity with a scoop of corn and serve with your favorite side dish. Enjoy! This is the recipe recap for how to make white corn stuffed acorn squash. Pause the video if you wish to read it. How to roast acorn squash seeds. All you will need for this recipe is acorn squash seeds, oil, salt and pepper, and other seasonings of your choice. Roasted squash seeds make a crunchy snack that is high in fiber and protein. Squash seeds also contain iron and calcium. Roasted seeds will keep for a few days at room temperature if they are kept in a sealed container. They can be kept for up to a week in the refrigerator. First, wash the seeds well and allow them to dry. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the seeds in a bowl and toss them with one teaspoon of oil per half cup of seeds and season with salt and pepper to taste. Experiment with seasonings according to what you prefer. Spread the seeds out over a baking sheet in a single layer. Bake seeds for 15 to 20 minutes or until you start to hear them pop. Let them cool and crisp on the pan. 
Then you're done. Enjoy! Try tossing a handful into your next salad. This is the recipe recap for how to roast acorn squash seeds. Pause the video if you wish to read it.